Hi everybody and happy Wednesday. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and staying inside. Um, well, at your house at least. I am actually outside on my back deck uh, bringing you a devotional this week with my dogs. That's Bailey. Bailey! <laughs> and that's Otto over there playing with a football. Okay, the devotional for today comes from a book called Space by Amanda Carpenter. It's really, really good, and it's all about creating space for yourself uh, during a time of chaos. Um, I thought this would be really fitting because, I don't know about you guys, but I made a huge to-do list for my house, and I have gone through all of it already. So I'm kind of driving myself crazy, trying to keep myself busy and doing all these different things around the house, and um, I'm going nuts. So this just seemed really fitting and I feel like it's really fitting for you guys too, um, to just remind yourselves to create some space and to enjoy this time and kind of use it as a time to check in with yourself and do a little relaxing as well as online schooling. Um, I do feel raindrops, so I'm probably gonna have to run inside in a minute, but I'm gonna try to get through this before it starts pouring. The lesson for today is called, uh, if you don't control your space, who will? And uh, let's dive right in before I get soaking wet from the rain. Do not run until your feet are bare and your throat is dry. But you said, it's no use. I love foreign gods and I must go after them. Jeremiah 2.25. When I got my driver's license, I'm pretty sure the first place I ventured off to was the tanning salon. A decade later, I could kick myself. I remember my mom standing in the driveway as I slowly backed out. Manda Sue, don't ever let your gas tank get too empty. The minute you hit half tank, get to the nearest gas station and fill it up all the way, she sternly instructed. My mom wasn't just nagging to nag. She didn't want me to run out of gas and she also knew that running on empty could negatively affect my car's performance and create unnecessary anxiety in me. Turns out this, app, this applies to more than just my car. In my early 20s, I tried to run on empty. I didn't acknowledge my limitations. Sleep wasn't a priority. Saying no was unfamiliar. I ran myself ragged trying to be everything for everyone. I thought I was invincible. The result was anxiety and a less than ideal performance at my job and in my relationships. Like always, mom was right. I don't want to be always counting down till the days of my next vacation. I want to live in a rhythm of space that allows me to experience the joys of living. This is hard work. Shifting from a life that operates at 150% each day to a life that has a rhythm of space. Everyone wants a piece of us and there just isn't enough to go around. As much as you may not want to admit it, you have a limited, <laughs> you have a limited capacity. There is no way you can do it all, though we try, don't we? So how do we reclaim what's ours? How do we make space? Get back in the driver's seat and watch what your gas gauge clo does closely. Space is what lies between rest and exhaustion. It's the difference between breathing freely and suffocating. We have to fight for it if we want to keep from running on empty. Unlike cars, we don't have a visual for when the tank requires more gas, but there are sure signs in life that serve as indicators of our needs. Pay attention to your mind, body, and spirit. I know I need more space when I become crabby for no reason, tired beyond belief, disinterested in things I love, easily offended and overwhelmed by non-issues. Whether you are a fast-paced entrepreneur, college student, or stay-at-home mom, space has the potential to radically change your life and make it more sustainable. This isn't about becoming less productive or throwing in the towel. Space is like my mom's advice, a preventative measure to keep us, from go to keep us going and eliminate unnecessary anxiety. I am very sorry about my dog barking a lot during that. Um, all of this is just to say, make sure you create some space for yourself in these next few weeks. Check in with yourself, read your Bible, be calm. Don't try to do and do and do and do constantly like I did the first couple of days of this. Um, allow yourself some space, space. Uh, thanks for checking in, uh, and I hope that you check in with me via text, email, phone call, whatever you want. Let me know how you're doing. Keep me posted. Uh, let me know if you need anything. I am praying for all of you guys, for all of your families, and I wish you guys well. Talk to you soon. Bye.